primarily a learning and uh, I would like to share a few slides just to get us started with today's discussions. And uh, I don't need to share sound because we are not going to go till the video clip because we have live people to share uh, what Aruhi is rather than showing you videos of what Aruhi is. So uh, what do we mean by Aruhi? Uh, if you are familiar with music, it's Arohana, Avrohana. So the, the, the process of change, the process of climbing or proceeding further. And when we say self-directed learning or open learning, we are essentially saying that each of us can lead our own lives. And which also then asks, begs us the question, okay, if we are leading our own life, then where are we taking it? And the simple answer is wherever we want to take it. And when, do we, when we say we, we are essentially looking at leading ourselves, but not that you're doing it alone, but you're taking the responsibility to do this as a person in a family, in a community, in a society, in the whole world, in an ecosystem. So trying to place ourselves in the larger scheme of things while you know following our own instincts, our own taste, our own talents. So uh, in some sense, what we have today, uh, what we are planning today for our discussion is a classic example of this idea of learning and then progressing from one thing to another, but also about sharing this within the community and discussing about what we have done, what we want to do, and there are two parts to our session today. One is where we will hear from one of our friends, Mishti, uh, about what she's been doing. She has prepared a portfolio of what she's been doing. And she will be sharing that with us. And then we'll be discussing about that and asking Mishti some questions. And, uh, and then we will also have the Cover City team and Lakshita joining us to share what they have been doing and how they do things and why they do, they do things. And when we say learning, we are essentially talking of doing. And when we say doing, we naturally are trying to showcase what we do. So in some sense, you can think of today's session as like a double showcase. So first we'll get uh, to hear from Mishti and then from Lakshita. So in the first half, uh, Mishti's is more uh, of a, uh, I should say, a preteen. Uh, but I mean, when you hear her, you will know that why I'm hesitating to use the word preteen for her. Uh, and then, of course, in the cover city, we are talking of young adults, uh, teens and a teen plus, and how they do things. So, without further ado, I would like to welcome everyone and also a special welcome to Mishti, whose video seems to be going through some crazy funky things. So uh, Mishti, can you check your camera again? And yeah, so uh, Mishti, yeah, that's much better. Thank you. Over to you, Mishti. Okay. So. I will share my screen. Okay, so can you all see? It's still a little... It's still black. loading, yeah. yeah. It's still loading, it's black. Uh, maybe turn off your camera, Mishti, while you have your screen share. If you can hear us. Okay. Okay. I think she's having some system issues. Are you with us, Mishti? Yes. 
Yeah, see, she has some system issues. Mm. So give us two, three minutes. Till okay. then, maybe we can go a short round of the yeah so while we have mishti fixing her system uh, we can have a short round of intros uh, kritika you want to start maybe a couple of us can introduce ourselves and just uh, asking everyone to please uh, uh, share a brief uh, actually first rename yourself so that your zoom name shows where you are from as well i should do that too and uh, also we have two kritikas one kritika kovasiti and one kritika vishwanathan though that is kritika but yeah uh, you're back mishti okay no i don't think we still have her yeah okay uh, yeah we can see your screen now Okay. yeah i i can see the cursor is also moving on your screen so which means that at least the screen share is working well that's good oops we lost the screen share okay okay So, can you see my screen share now? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, oh, it gives me a moment. This year, hello, hello, everybody. My name is Mishti. I am ten years old, and as Dwiji said, I'm a preteen. So, um, I have been in Arohi for roughly three years now, and this is about my latest year of open learning and uh, me exploring different paths of life. So, as far as today, I love. singing i love dancing i love writing i really love malkam malkam is a sport which uh, you climb on a rope and you climb on a pole and you do uh, you do tricks on that and you do a lot of stunts on that and i love playing games i love socializing so that's about me and this past few year had a lot of things and a lot of activities So I've covered that all in my portfolio. So let's watch. This year had so much, and started with some art. Two beautiful coasters done with my heart. Then I went on to bake a cake, a chocolate cake with a perfect bake. That was the first cake that I made all alone, and it looked even better in real life than the picture shown. Now let's move on to the most exciting part of visit to Surat, Gujarat. It was crazily cool. Saw cloth weaving factories too, and actually seeing the process, all the formulas and assets. It was a memory, a thing to remember for sure. A joy so beautiful and pure. Followed by a visit to a place. with ropes and hamsters and smiles on every face i picked up a block of wood with honey bees and honey all over it and i ate some raw honey comb just a bit all together friends and family i really liked it i saw a snake handler too and i was like oh shit now next thing i want to share is my experience in malakam i mean it is actually pretty awesome And not only that, but there's silk too, a hanging cloth on which you do tricks. Woo hoo! There were competitions, many. Points were high and low, but it was scary. A few times I fell. 
I might have cried, but in the end, that took me high. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and I don't fall any longer. That's the learning that I get from all the people that I met. I just did a competition in Pune. My score was a bit better than okay. I went to MCF military camp with archery, shooting, obstacle course, and all of that. I made a few new friends and learned how to stay with strangers for a week. It was an interesting experience for me to understand the world and how to not be weak. And yeah, that's not the only thing I do. I went to Arohi campus too, traveling in the train, 24-hour journey, no parents with me. I'm on my own in Arohi for full two months with plant and tree hunts, working with lizards, frogs, and cats, cleaning with friends, and all of that, making food on my own, or washing clothes on a flat stone. There were meetups and walking around hilltops, playing keyboard and a few games. Met a few more people, no more names. Pet many more dogs. Got to know my flaws. Improved overall. I visited Lalbagh Park, which had different and curious trees. I took a few pics with my friends. Say cheese. Back in Mumbai, I created me, a song. It was my first ever, and it left me a gob. I wrote it, sung it, choreographed it on my own, recorded it, and published it. You'll find it in my channel, Mishti Sangani, on your laptop, TV, or phone. And then I wrote a few more songs, like my book life, and a few songs for board games, and basically how you play it. I know it's mind blowing. Just say it. Five songs, a series, wrote, composed, sung, make up, and thought by me. Yeah, we got guests over, so fun is gonna cover. Also with a visit to Mumbai's planetarium, a place you should go, filled with cool surprises and more. And then another drawing, or should I say quilling, 'cause it was a mix. With painting and sketching and quilling and doodling, a few parts just covering up to fix, an innovative idea, but surprisingly completed. Only a week, but it was stunning. And next, we celebrated. A coach got national gold in Malkam, and there was singing and dancing and cutting a cake and smiling. I also did some oil painting. Made some art, used the papers, made a few cards. Other than that, I also did surfing, surfing with all of Arohi gang and learning how to ride waves and how to control it, how to stand straight and not lose my balance. Not only that, there was also an entire trip with gushing waterfalls and huge rock figuratives. Everything was awe striking. And a sight for sore eyes, including the intricately carved temples and monarchies. At the end, I wrote reviews for each place we visited, poured my heart out in the review, and rated it. I also wrote another song, a song called "The Queen," with a music video and all. I did the singing, recording, choreography, learned how to use technology. Editing and cutting and paste, learnt it all in just a day, and I made a podcast, wrote a few stories, and made it vocal. All in all, a series of five. You'll find Multi Mystery on Spotify. I really liked the way it turned out. It was a good use of my mouth. I also made a few Amritam product ads. Did everything myself with a bit of help from my mom and dad. The entire writing and recording process rubbed off on me. Now I can make customized business ads easily, and that's not the end of it. I also made a blog, a blog which got me like, oh my god! It had my best writings and my best rhymes, 
everything that makes me shine. I also had a food week where I tried different recipes. Successful paneer butter masala, pizza and ice cream. Improvable caramel coffee candy. Okay. So, after I got exposed to podcasting myself, I got the option to present to everyone else. And that means I could do a paid workshop, help people understand how to make a podcast. It was a double learning back to me. I found it very meaningful and everything went like it was supposed to be. And then there was Kala Goda festival. Well, all the crazy creative things are a festival of arts and dances and it's so filled the seats are always taken so bet your chances but it's an experience a dhamakedar one for sure and if you have any sadness this will be your cure there was a meet up in belgaum called sam you would think it had maybe 100 people in it but bam there were over 350 people there and you just listen to them and share it was fun we had game nights another world with homeschoolers and those kind and now me click on the best game festival born with games from all over the world it's like the whole game dimension unfold a good place to spend your day it's awesome i can say and that's the end of my year march 2023 So yes that was it and that was my entire year captured in maybe 7 to 8 minutes so yes i think dwiji can take from here awesome no 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 you have already taken and ran away with it there's nothing for me to take <laughs> lovely thank you mishti thank you so uh, folks welcome again um as in welcome back to reality <laughs> and uh, the floor is open for any and all questions that you might have for mishti uh, regarding her portfolio regarding her learning process and her journey her learning journey um yeah please over to anybody who wants to ask questions share their thoughts Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Hi, Surabhi. Please go ahead. Hi. I am new to this platform. I would like to ask: Is the um, is the school an online learning, or it's like uh, which kind of learning are you providing? Like, how come Misty is so much into it? Let Let's take the second part first, and then we'll come to the first part. Misty. Okay. So. um we originally started as a family and we still are a family uh, like we started by just feeling that uh, maybe now school is not something i am i'm not saying school is bad or school is not any uh, fun anymore but i just started feeling maybe let's try something new so we uh, started exploring a bit and we found out open learning and deeper we found arohi which is a community so and this at this point when we found out it was covid so uh, as you know even the schools had become online so even arohi became online so we started with online and i started you know meeting so many new more people and Uh, just socializing with so many new people different ages different sizes different thought process and it was it was different and i was like okay this is nice and i really want to continue with this so uh, that's how we got into it and then slowly 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 it was like advancing in level you know so then i also started making projects for myself and i started creating podcasts and music videos and um, game instructions and all of that so 
now here i am great that's great that's lovely to hear from you so um does anybody kritika or pranav priti you want to share about the first part of the question basically my concern is um, i'm looking for an online uh, learning school or an online platform for my daughter so i have read uh, much about aruhi so quite convinced with the things so i got the chance to uh, connect today directly from you so can you please guide me for this so sulbi so um hi this is preeti uh, where are you placed as of now and we are in ua okay so uh, firstly just want to share that aruhi is not a school it's a community of families that who come together and we all are part of this community and we are all equally um, very active in every way uh, all the families means uh, starting from the founder of our ogi till every family who joins to the uh, like till yesterday so every family each member is very active so uh, as parents also we are active as grandparents also we are very active in the community so that's a community it's not a school uh okay. online yes you can be part of it uh, online um and there is a on site campus in uh, bangalore near bangalore in hosur uh, so that is also there uh, yeah. online you can be part of it there is an app uh, called discord we are connected via that also and we are connected via zoom also but very upfront and clearly i'm saying it is not a school where you are mm-hmm. feeded with something it is a community where we create stuff we all as families we all come together and do things together okay and we start things uh, from our own initiatives so that's what it is that's great i'll correct myself calling it the school instead of community okay other things so how is uh, how can aruhi let my daughter engage in it so all the activities will be doing online you want to answer uh yeah so so we um, the activities are i mean it's not just online the interactions might be online but the activities are in real life right so the yeah. idea of the learning is that uh, uh it is about self directed learning as you have probably seen on the website and in other resources so uh the we might be interacting online we might be interacting over phone calls we might be interacting over emails you know mm. the media the medium of interaction is a many and mm. dependent on what we are comfortable with and what we find appropriate i mean we have zoom calls we have a social media thing called as discord where we interact a lot so there are a whole bunch of tools that we use but what is important is that it's not that the learning is happening in these interactions of course we interact and we learn too but there's a lot of self directed learning that happens and the idea of arohi is that it's a community of open learners who are with each other in the learning journey so it's about being there and not really asking everyone to be there right uh, yeah available to everyone and anyone and not asking that everyone you know you have to be here at this time at this time marking a marking attendance yeah. like that yeah yeah and the idea is also that you share what you are doing what you are interested in and like mystery just showed her portfolio yeah. uh we get to know what others are doing through various means including their portfolio shares hmm. and uh, and we connect directly either one to one or many a case many to one and uh, exchange learn from each other etc etc so the you can connect online but you know it's a real life thing it's not just an online thing definitely definitely practicals are more yeah. important yes definitely so the last question uh, how can i get into arohi like my the enrollment i can i can be the joinee yeah. or something like that yeah so pranav has already typed it out yeah sure uh, i'll do that thanks so, pranav thank you yeah and you have already taken the next step which is actually being part of this saturday meetups so that you yeah. get an idea of what arohi is and get to interact with more families and so 
uh, I'm guessing this is your first time you are here with us on a Saturday. Yes, so actually. Feel free to uh, check out the archive of recordings from earlier sessions. And you're mm -hmm. also welcome to join us in the future ones as well. So sure. yeah, thank you. We'll get so to much. hear more views about RV sure. and experiences, etc. Definitely, it will be connecting. Thank you well, so much. Yeah. Anyone else who would like to join the conversation with your questions, especially to Misty? I mean, we kind of got off onto a about Arohi thing. So, uh, but if uh, if you can, you know focus your questions to Mishri because she has said that she is not going to be around for longer than six o'clock. She has to welcome today, Mishri. Yeah. Yeah, I have my class. Yeah. So uh, if folks can uh, focus their questions to Mishri first and then we can come back and discuss about Arohi more. Because we will be following up with a discussion about Coversity as well. Yes, Pranam, you wanted to. Yeah, I, I don't want to ask, but I want to kind of just uh, initiate this because uh, it's better we'll uh, hear from Misty. So Misty, how do you plan your day and how do you go about, you know, uh, doing things uh, and, and how has your planning and, uh, you know, uh, interest evolved over a period of time? So, uh, how I plan my day is based on what I love doing as uh, as interest as passions and what makes me feel happy while doing it so like i said i like singing i like dancing i like writing i like um, cooking i love cooking so i think up ideas and i think up projects of uh, maybe this week i want to complete a few dishes which I can maybe uh, exotic dishes or maybe a uh, normal day to day life dishes. So uh, that's what I think of for a week. So now in this week, I will plan out uh, time wise, like from 10 to 11 this, from 12 to 1 this, from 3 to 4 this. And that way I will have a little more clarified and a very specific time planning so then i get to know in this time i will do this and also now i am trying to only have a few goals and a few things which i want to have by the end of the month or by the end of two months and then i am on my own on the spot thinking okay now i will do this or now i will maybe start writing now i will start uh, practicing my music now i will start um, doing my acting so that way i do on the spot also and my interests have evolved from uh not my interests have not changed but they have evolved from just exploring to getting a bit more deeper into actually becoming projects and having outcomes and results Ugly. thank you mr uh, and we can see the effect of that in the portfolio that you shared. Yeah. Um, other questions, other comments? Uh, hello? Yes, uh, please. Yes. So uh, this is Divya. Uh, just wanted to. Uh, this is the first time I am. Uh, uh, I am here on this call. Uh, uh, just initially exploring how can we uh, enable our child to uh, this entire uh, genre of learning and uh, I mean uh, how to do it because till now we haven't yet uh, sent him to school. We we had sent him for a month last year but did not work out well. Uh, so we decided to, I mean, uh, uh, go for some uh, uh, homeschooling, but we don't have a structure to it as yet. Uh, I mean, however, just exploring and it's mostly been free play and because any which ways uh, uh, we've seen that uh, children are learning most of the things through gadgets. 
even if they are going to schools like my uh, brothers children and all of you i mean elder to him uh, so yeah, anything they were learning it's uh, or grasping it was through the videos they watch on youtube etc so uh, we thought maybe there has to be some alternate uh, and and uh, we are in bangalore for the last 5 6 months uh, on a specific project so and and a uh, very first time i came to know about arohi while exploring online so that's all yeah. great thank you divya um yeah i mean as you as you can see when we talk of free play i mean we somehow feel that it's uh, it's a compromise but as you saw from nishti's portfolio i mean the the free flowing nature of her engagements with various things gives you an idea of how we as a community see learning because free play is something that's great for not just you know four year old toddlers and four year olds but for any age and especially if you want to identify what your interests are so uh, maybe i can uh, use that as a question uh, for mishti uh, mishti if uh, if you think of the various things that you are now doing where did you start how did you start doing those things and cuz i mean some of the things that you have shared is so diverse so just curious to if you can share how did you start on different things and you know a little bit about that so i think it all went like a domino so we started off with maybe just basic um, in arohi there are many different projects in arohi itself so there was a project called swad which was the daily writers of arohi so i used to write daily and uh, so i was writing and i and while i was writing i just felt very open and very free so that writing slowly became instead of just a few lousy hundred words it became something much more uh, readable so i mean i i mean at least now i feel maybe i'm still self obsessed but uh, now it's starting to become better so now i'm also writing a story and it's going in a it's like uh, from starting from swad projects now those swad projects became my podcast the swad project things i wrote and uh, writings which i felt are really worth sharing then those writings i just transformed into words and that's a podcast that's basically what a podcast is so it it just came down like came up ideally so um, i don't think there's a way to start it you just uh, come in and then there are clubs where people come together and they talk about uh, some particular topic like maybe art club or maybe math club or history club so i think that's also where you start understanding what you really like and don't like and otherwise also you can just go around doing okay one day i will learn how to flip a pancake one day i will learn how to doodle a bit and then you can just find out what you like and then you can go deeper into it like deep diving cool thank you mr so just to just to uh, uh, further to divya's question uh, mr i would like to divya, divya how old is your child you said uh, yes 4 plus 4 and a half 4 4 yeah yes. so divya mr i would just just i'm just trying mr do you recollect anything that you did at the age of 4 and which is you are still continuing or anything like you were doing at that age uh, do you recollect anything like what was the main area that you were into I think I, think I was still, still into, into gymnastics, um, traveling, traveling, and I was uh, at that point. I also was very like I didn't go very professional. I didn't do anything big with it, but I used to dance in front of the mirror. So I was still into dancing too. And otherwise, I used to try choreographing some small, small parts of songs without knowing that I was choreographing them. So yeah. So the way it just starts that that's how it starts. So you know uh, the the interest for games or interest for you know things. It just just initially the germ comes and then you you explore, you see things, you observe things, and then then it initiates. So as long as then then gradually it progresses and whatever has to grow has to grow. Will whatever has to kind of fall off will fall off. 
So uh, I think that's the organic way of have it, it happening. Got that. I mean, uh, taking a leap from there, uh, last three months we have observed his interest in uh, storytelling and role plays. I mean, everything he's been uh, converting to role plays or uh, he takes up different role plays at different times. So that is one, I mean, from Misty's, uh, I mean, sharing, uh, that is one thing that I could take a leap. And yes, so that means somehow uh, uh, stars have aligned at the right time and they're at the right group now. And, and just one thing, uh, like at yeah, this yeah, age, isn't yeah, there yeah, any... I think Neha wants to share something, sure. if you don't mind. We'll come back if time permits. And otherwise, you can join us again next week. So we, sure, we'll sure. Be... Yeah. sure. Neha, you wanted to say something, I suppose? Please. Yes. Actually, we, I'm, uh, actually I'm from Amritsar. And uh, we have the same plan to open this kind of school in Amritsar. That's why I'm attending. Uh, your audio got cut out. Was it just for me or were others able to hear you fully? Yeah. Am I audible now? now? Now I can hear you. Okay. So actually I'm saying that I have a same kind of idea to open school in my Amritsar, Punjab. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm taking this session. So could you please help me uh, for, for more information or for uh, help? Yeah. Rana, you want to chip in? No, I think uh, Neha, as we started, uh, firstly, Arohi is not a school. Uh, uh, it's nothing, there are no teachers, there is no classroom, there is nothing of that sort. It is more of a community. Okay. It is the family is coming together. Sorry, I'm having something. It is family is coming together and, you know, co-creating things and, you know, uh, working together as a, as, as a group. And that group, okay. you know, initiates various things based on individual interest and group interest and also the community interest. And that's how it, it, it grows. So it is not a structure in a way that way. It is a self-designed uh, 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 system which is operated by everyone and everyone contributes to it. Okay. So actually, the uh, for example, like I have my kid, he's seven years old. Hello. So Neha, your question is your question is that you have a child of seven years age and yes. you want to do open learning for him, like as a family, you want to do it together for yes. your child, or you want to open a community in Amritsar for everybody to access in Amritsar. Yes, yes, or yes. Actually, I'm running NGO. Not my topic. Yeah. So Neha, uh, the idea of Arohi is like Pranav mentioned, it's uh, the idea is that we are all open learning families who come together and having a center really helps because we see the value like Vishti pointed out multiple times in the portfolio and also in this conversation, having mm -hmm. a campus has been quite useful in that. But we do not restrict our learnings to when we are on campus. The learning happens wherever we are. So that's why Preeti was asking whether you're just thinking of a campus in terms of a learning wherever we are kind of thing or in terms of a campus where people can come together. So now if you want to do something like a campus where you, uh, where you bring together open learners who in Amritsar, let's say, where you live, mm -hmm. uh, that is something that we will support as Arohi in terms of any resources that we can. Uh, hmm. primarily there's like tons of pages online and videos and various things so you can go through that and if you find something very specific that you feel we can help you with that would be great and you're welcome to participate hmm. with us the other thing that i would like to share is that arohi like it has already been mentioned is not a school so what are we we are a learning community so there is a lot of learning that we ourselves are doing as parents uh, in our interactions and we also have a lot of online sessions where we re-familiarize ourselves with different aspects of learning, different philosophies of learning and different things. 
So if you go to the website again and look for Jagriti and some of the other online programs, that might be of interest to you as well. So do check that out. And, uh, and we can talk about this more. You have contact numbers on the website that you can uh, you know, get in touch with us through. And uh, we can take the conversation forward. And that's that. why I'm saying how we can identify the hidden talent of kids instantly. Could, like Not just kids, even adults. There are a lot of hidden talents in adults yeah. as well, right? <laughs> so yeah. how, how we do it? Let's try to uh, focus the conversation on Mishti's work and, uh, you know, questions for Mishti. Because it's not often that we get, uh, you know, people with such passion and pursuit uh, you know, available for us to ask questions and uh, yeah. So if you have any questions for Mishti, I we would love to hear that. Or I think else? we can reframe the question that Neha has and ask Mishti only. Uh, Mishti, uh, uh, you believe that you are a, you 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 want to sing or you rather you want to do videography and choreography and cooking. So do you have you identified like this is my talent, or you are still looking at it and 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 what's what's the future of this? Like, do you say this is my talent now? I'm now I'm finished and done with yeah, this. And this is my thing. Actually, I have completed double MA BA and my profession is teaching, but I quit it. Then yeah, suddenly I realized that my interest is only in social work and I started NGO. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I was just trying to understand from Misty, like, as you said, you know, how to find talent. Because we have not found any talent. She, she is still exploring and she's probably still, so I don't know what is there in her mind. I will yeah, listen I from not her. Found talent in myself also. <laughs> So, okay. um, I think first thing is you. It's not instant Maggie mix. It's like it takes time, and you won't find it immediately. Like it will, uh, it and it will be trial and error. It won't go like forcing you try. Oh yes, this is my talent. Let's go. I'm gonna sing at the stage tomorrow. No, no, no. Yes. Yeah. So it's like I think it's slowly, and also when you have a talent, it's still raw. Like it needs to ripen up. So for everything, I think the first step is to just go around doing whatever comes into your mind and uh, just whatever people next to you are doing. Maybe your mom is cooking, go and stand there for one hour and just maybe cook with her, learn. And then you'll, by yourself, you'll feel this butterflies in your tummy kind of feeling. Ki, yes, I, I know this is for me. So, and it need not be a talent. It can be a uh, it, it can be a passion which you turn into your skill. Okay. So, so actually the organization and the foundation which I'm running are basic uh, area is education and employment. My motive is providing education and employment for those who are unable to get uh, education like very poor community, construction yeah. worker. So how I can open this kind of uh, like structure for them? Is it possible yeah. to start this sure. kind of structure for them? 100% it's possible, Neha, but let's, let's uh, as I mentioned earlier, let's try to focus the discussion a little. Uh, and there are lots of resources and we have some, uh, you know, phone numbers as well through which mm -hmm. you can talk to people to take this conversation forward. Yeah. And okay. just to add, Neha, mind? there is six to seven, the slot is there for Cobra City, which probably okay. might interest you. So that could be more, uh, is more aligned to your questions. So I think just wait for some time and be on this uh, meeting. Yeah, definitely. I'll be very happy. Hello? Yes. Hi, Madhvi. Yes, please. Um, oh, Ka Kavi? Ka hello, Ka everyone. Okay. Madhvi um, and then Kavi, please. Yeah, Madhvi. Uh, first of all, uh, I have attended one session for three years in lockdown, actually, when Preeti and Mishti and her father also, they were starting with Aroji. At that time, I used to uh, attend all the sessions through Telegram channels. Uh, I really want to congratulate Mishti. I'm very happy to see that seven-year-old that she was uh, she was just joining our own. And now, the progress is showing, the confidence, whatever she has done, she has shown through her portfolio. I'm very happy. And uh, I just want to know that you have ever exam attend any exam, like a child, like I am. My daughter attends every annual exam. Or you can think about it. What is the feel of the child? Timely, to give a competitive exam, to wait for the results, to prepare for the 
और तो मुझे वो आपको कैसा लगता है इफ यू आर कम्फर्टेबल हिंदी आणि मराठीत तर मला माहितीये तुम्हाला मराठीत मी ऐकलंय तेव्हा कारण तुम्ही लोक मुंबईचे आहात आणि चांगली मराठी नाही आहेत पण मिस्टी विल नॉट बी एबल टू आन्सर ट्राई हिंदी अँड प्रॉब्लम इंग्लिश या या आय बी कम्फर्टेबल लिस्निंग हर इंग्लिश अँड दॅट इज ऑल्सो मुझे वो सुन के भी उनका इंग्लिश की दिस एज उनका जो डेप्थ है लर्निंग का अंडरस्टँडिंग का आन्सरिंग का जो बॅलन्स आहे वो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है सुन के और जो मेरा बिलीफ था की आरोही मे जाना बहुत अच्छी बात होती है वो बहुत और भी बढ गया है बट या बात भी लेट्स हियर फ्रॉम मिस्टी प्लीज या मिस्टी सो फॉर द एग्जाम क्वेश्चन आई आई डोंट थिंक आई हैव डन अ एग्जाम एग्जाम लाइक अ अ रियली हार्ड एग्जाम व्हेन आई आई नीड टू पास दिस और आई फेल ऑल माय क्लासेस एंड I'll go down and I can't get a job. I've never done something like that. But I was in school till second grade. So I have given tests and I've given um, question and answers, papers and everything. So uh, as a person, I definitely know how that feels. And I, uh, it's, I mean, I cannot, dis- it's like basically uh, you, it's pressure and stress. mixed with a lot of you know uh, struggle struggle you can say so maybe to connecting with what i'm feeling now i could say it's the competitions like i play malkham competitions so in that it's kind of it's almost the same thing except you're not continuously doing it and um, the next moment you get your answer in malkham is more of you do something and it's a two minute thing and then you sit and you have to wait really long and then you get your answers like yes this is this is how much i got and this is like it's out in um, exams we get it out of 100 or out of 40 in malkham is out of 10 so that way it i think it's pretty much it's very similar so uh, i would say yes i am feeling it right now also so it's not that uh leaving school has become like a very carefree happy journey now but it's uh it's my control i could say now yeah so carefree happy and in control huh? <laughs> yeah uh, i think uh, tamar tamar you had something you, uh, your hand raised please yeah uh hi misty yeah so it's just nice portfolio thanks for sharing with us and i have a question for you so how do you pursue your interest let's say you found that you are interested in something how do you uh, pursue it that is one thing second part of it how, what is the role uh, by your parents like your mother and father what roles they play and the community how how do you get your resources and community how how it plays the role in facilitating you so i think i mentioned this i'll start with the second part because it kind of goes like that so uh, in our community there were and there still are clubs and there are basically these are one or two or how much ever long time meetups where whoever is interested in that topic come together and we talk and somebody maybe uh, brings up some research and so basically it all started from there so there i understood okay i like um, i like art i like singing i like uh, i do not like math and all of that it all started from there so then uh, slowly slowly my parents also as it the passion became something like i knew okay i have a passion for this slowly my mother she was like okay now this is okay you found your interest very good shabash now what do you want to do next so then she came up with the idea maybe we can do projects so that was actually a big part play from her side and um, so we started actually making projects so this meant that every week i will be done with something and i will have some result or outcome even if it's not something big i will have something on my platter so uh, slowly i started making tiny 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 projects and now 
I uh, so I originally started with writing poems. Then I uh, went for writing a few lyrics. Then I actually thought, okay, this is nice. I can do something more with this. So then I made that into a a song with beats. So I have a pia- uh, keyboard at home. So I made beats. I made the background music, and then I thought, okay, now I like singing. So let's sing this. So that way it all came together. So. you definitely need a lot of support from your parents they like there was a few moments where i felt like okay that's it no more khatam and then that, that that's a really that's a place where you need them to go like you have to finish this and not have to but this is you want to do this you need to do this but right, there are few phases so i guess that's just where support comes in and of course daily um, everything so yeah Yeah, as a follow up, like how the conversation between you and uh, let's say your parents when you start a project, whether you complete it or not, and how it let's say you are not completing or you are completing, how do we how how the conversation goes? If you are not completing and how you how if you are completing, so, it, how you take it to the next level? So I I don't know it's relevant. I just I'm curious. Yeah, yeah, it's very relevant. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll answer this. I'll answer this. Yeah, as being please. A parent, <laughs> Uh, uh, Tamil, uh, see, see. Let me be very honest with you. This is not a, a very smooth sailing uh, boat or you know ride that we are all into. It's there are lots of conflicts, there are disagreements, there are fights, uh, there are you know tensions. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's we are all in whatever it is, we are all together. So ultimately, the, as an outcome. So when when she is into something, as she said, you know, it's it's our duty to support her, and we can support her. At times, we trigger with some you know some some ideas. and then she takes it forward how she takes it forward through her skills or the way of way she wants to do it so and and it's not only about her interest it's like even if say i like a uh, video editing or i like to to make movies or short films then i do that and and watching that she takes up something and she she uh, builds on it so so it it works both ways so it's not necessary that we all are focused on what misty is doing it's like if preeti is into art she will do her art and if misty has to pick up something from there she'll pick up from there as well so it, it it life doesn't revolve around misty only it's we as as individual as you know family we all have our uh, uh, you know specific like say i like reading so i will share something about my reading with her and if she wants to read or you know watch something with me we watch films together so everything works as a family so lots of conversation happen at times you know uh, uh, as she said you know she feels like now i don't want to continue with this so probably there is a discussion talk around it can what happened why are you want to discontinue and if something is legit and she wants to really move out of it that's fair enough but something you know so that's that's how a typical family it works so so naturally there will be some sort of you know uh, you know heat or you know at times that kind of situation but yeah it, it's it's part and parcel of the game so nothing is like a uh, uh, facebook story or insta story here. it's a true <laughs> everything works the way it works in a family thanks pranav yeah thank you pranav thank you i think uh, kavi kavi you had uh, wanted to ask something earlier i'm sorry we couldn't come back to you earlier if you can unmute yourself uh i want to ask you uh, my son is actually uh, i try to do homeschooling after that uh, you know i i also have um, scroll a lot about arohi and now he's 13 he's in a secondary school in malaysia so i just want to know like you know i am very much interested about whatever misty is doing and everything because i am uh, following arohi from 2015 so the thing is can i uh, for a start can i put him there in that community so he get the idea and then i grow uh, it in malaysia and misty no. i want to say thank you because you have uh, ignited this uh, uh, i'm very very happy on behalf of my son and other kids that uh, you have sparked that interest in me you have taken it further and i'm going to evolve with this so thank you so much darling and uh, the way you talk and everything tells me that mm-hmm. you know it's mm-hmm. so beautiful really i bless you from here in malaysia i think all the mothers and kids will bless you and we want you to continue to inspire many 
It is so beautiful, 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 which auntie cannot do in Malaysia. I had the interest, but I couldn't do because of so many things. But you are doing and um, really uh, thumbs up to your parents and you. And uh, I want to ask you, Misty, are you going for any formal schooling? Did you go? Because I didn't so, get that part earlier. Yeah, so I did. Originally, I uh, did preschool and I did everything until second grade and then after second grade covid started and everything pandemic started so everything went online and i started feeling okay now maybe it's time to shift and then we found out of it so first it was just checking is this viable and then after that we thought okay yes this is good so as a family we made a decision that okay now we are maybe stopping school for a while then when i feel okay school is again what i want then i can rejoin school so uh, till as far as now i don't go to school currently and i am just with our own. thank you so much for that explanation you have made us uh, to understand that uh, you know at any point of time i can start to do something and it can be very very beautiful thank you misty because you know our journey is going to start now uh, just because of your podcast and everything the, the moment i saw your youtube portfolio and everything i am really excited thank you Lovely. So we are, thank you, Mishti, and uh, lots of uh, inspiration messages and glowing reviews from everyone. Uh, thank you for being with us. And uh, we are almost at six o'clock and uh, we will shift guests to the Coversity section of today's session. And Kritika, I'm guessing you're trying to reach Lakshita. Yeah. Uh, but do you want to start the introdu introducing Coversity? Yes, sure. Okay, I'm all pumped up after listening to Misty's, uh, you know, incredible portfolio. And um, I'm very excited to share, like, uh, that's got me boosted up. So thank you, Misty, for sharing your portfolio with us. Uh, it was wonderful. Okay, so uh, we kind of have an idea after seeing Misty, uh, you know, to see what all she's done and uh, you know, she's been exploring multiple um, areas of interest. And so somewhere the next phase, as we say, uh, when you are like between 14 to 21, like how can you become a professional in your area of interest? And that is where Coversity comes into play. So Coversity is a dedicated space or offering from Arohi, uh, which is, uh, you know, uh, for the teens, 14 to 21 plus teens, uh, where they can discover their passions. And, you know, the idea is to uh, become a professional in your area of uh, interest. Uh, and the whole, uh, you know, similar to what Misty has been saying, right? She's been exploring so many areas, uh, so many domains. So where does one, you know, uh, where does one uh, make a profession of, of which interest, you know, one may have multiple interests or one may uh, be, you know, not sure where my interest is. And that's quite natural, right? So uh, that is where we wanted to give a, a, a very uh, dedicated space where uh, the youth, as we call them, 14 to 21 can explore their interests, go deep in their, uh, you know, domains and uh, passions and ultimately uh, make a profession out of it. So uh, this is specifically for the youth, 14 to 21. And uh, today we have Lakshita with us, uh, who will be sharing her journey at Cover City. So without much ado, I will hand over to Lakshita. But before that, I'll just set the agenda for the day. So Lakshita will be sharing her journey, uh, what she did at Cover City. And then we will open the floor for, uh, you know, any uh, uh, thoughts, discussions, questions. Uh, and if there are any youth in this group, uh, they can go separately with uh, Lakshita in a breakout room and they can have their own chit chat and discussions. Uh, and the adults can be here where we can take up additional questions. And then we kind of conclude for the day. So that's how it proceeds. Over to you, Lakshita. Thank you. 
Yeah. Um, Kirtika, the presentation is taking a little bit of time to load, so you can maybe share something while it loads. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we. Uh, so this was started with uh, a bunch of five Arohi uh, youth in July, the Kova city where uh, each of them had their specific interests like lakshita was interested is interested in filmmaking there were others who are interested in designing and uh, some uh, were interested in writing so all of these bunch of youth came together and it was them who decided okay how do we uh, go deeper in our interest you know like there is a phase of exploration but there's also a phase of going deeper and understanding which areas of your domain interests you and uh, what is the kind of learning that you do at Coversity, if you ask. Uh, it is very much industry oriented, like you are connected with the industry and all your learning is by working on live projects, uh, you know, uh, uh, connecting with mentors and uh, uh, taking up clients. So that's how the whole uh, deal is. So we'll just wait for uh, Lakshita to uh, for Lakshita's presentation to load, and then you'll get a better glimpse of uh, how this journey happens. Uh, Neha has uh, raised her hand. Okay. Um, so uh, should she wait for questions until Lakshita finishes, and then she asks? Yes, questions. yes, yes. So the agenda first we finish. Uh, Lakshita shares her presentation, and then we open up for questions. Okay, Neha. Okay, thank you. We also have one more youth with us, uh, Sri Jani, uh, who is also uh, helping us uh, with the, she's part of the Coversity team as well. She's uh, all of 16 and she's helping us build this concept and, you know, implement it. So, hi, Sri Jani. Hi. Hello. Uh, just a couple of announcements uh, before the presentation is loading. Uh, we have two boot camps lined up where uh, if, as you see Lakshita's journey and if it interests you and you feel, oh, this is the kind of journey, uh, you know, I would like to be part of. We have a week long boot camp happening on April 17th where uh, you can get a glimpse of, you know, uh, what this journey would be like, where all the youth come together, they do a project, uh, there are some self-visioning exercises. I'll be sharing the website and you can go check them out. And, uh, you know, if that interests you, you can get in touch with us. Yeah, it's much. actually a one-week program where you get to experience COVID and see what it, done, what it does to you. Yeah, Shridhan is just back from our last uh, boot camp, so she's in the zone. Yeah. Lakshita, are we good to go? What's the thing at your end? Chitika, can you share? Because like this Zoom is not letting me share it. I think there's some glitch because I've tried in like two devices. So, if you share, that. I can share. I can share. Let yeah. me share. Yeah, so hi everyone. Uh, like Kirtika said, my name is Lakshita and my interest is filmmaking. And I've been doing open learning for about two years, more than two years now. And I've been with the cohorts for six months over that actually. But yeah, you can count it as broadly seven, eight months. So, next slide. Yeah, so Coversity, I first joined it 
when they were really starting because i was trying to find my interest i broadly knew that you know i wanted to go into media and you know maybe try film so i joined coversity to just like check it out and you know try to figure out my interests and like go forward with that and after joining coversity i did find out that i did enjoy filmmaking quite a lot and i chose filmmaking as like the primary career i want to pursue maybe more if i'm interested but the primary one is filmmaking next one yeah so i spent 6 months in the beginning with co with all the cohort members and i deep dived into filmmaking and i tried out lots of different things i will share more in the upcoming slides and after the 6 months i reviewed every single thing that i did so we had one meet up it was not exactly a boot camp a little bit different but we had a meet up and then i did lots of projects by myself and i also did like exercises and stuff i went to events and i did lots of things so after the 6 months i you know i sort of sat down i reviewed everything that i did and i still wanted to pursue filmmaking so i'm sticking with it next yeah so in the cohorts it's it was like there was only me in the filmmaking cohort at that point but there were other cohorts like the writers cohort and the designers cohort and i collaborated with them a lot because uh yeah so i so i collaborated with them a lot so with krishiv mostly because he is into animation and so we did a few story boards together we discussed a few story lines i also did lots of stuff by myself and other than that we also like met for weekly meetings where we would like discuss our plan and you know offer each other support and discuss what exactly wanted we wanted to do and you know what we didn't do last week or maybe what we want to include in our plans so basically we just it was just like supporting each other all the way next slide yeah so other than just like me collaborating with the cohort members and like learning i also did like work not exactly work work but i i have a youtube channel where i analyze shows and stuff and uh, so i'm working on that i went to different events and i did lots of networking i talked to different people uh, i recently went to this one called future fantastic it's about how ai can help with climate change and i talked to the filmmakers there and all the creators there and i understood their perspectives and i you know sort of understood how everything works in filmmaking just not my perspective but like the reality and how different people view it next slide yeah so i am not earning right now but i do do a lot of stuff that could get me money i'm just not doing it right now one thing is my youtube channel um i do lots of analysis and like it's just very broad basically whatever i think helps with film making i make a video on that i share my perspective i've i've discussed with other people i've done podcasts and i have developed storylines they are that they're not exactly good but they can be like sold and i can like you know earn from that next slide i have not done an internship but i was you know going to do one so i talked to different people i was on linkedin and 
I developed my profile there. I made a portfolio for myself and I talked to a few different people and like what they were looking for and what jobs and internships were available that would both benefit me and the person who decides to take me as an intern. I didn't go through with it, but I did learn a lot about the whole internship process and like how to get internship and how to like make conversation with employers and you know all that professional stuff. Next slide. Yeah, so for the internship, as I mentioned, I made a portfolio. In my portfolio, there's like all kinds of stuff. It's basically just like an archive of what I've done and, you know, why people would hire me or why people should like take a look at my work. There's everything I've done that. There's also like a few of my other interests and hobbies. So if I decide to venture into any other field, then that would also be possible because I have everything there and it's just there for the world to see. Next slide. Yeah. So I started like full on filmmaking exactly one year ago. And back then I did make a lot of films. They weren't good, but you know, with the cohorts and with Coversity, I, you know, got the space to really go into what I did wrong, what I can learn, what exactly needs to be improved on, what's the criteria that is there for a good piece of media. And I basically learned all that so I can work on my filmmaking by myself. Other than that, I also learned you know, just general stuff, like how to interact with people and how to, you know, sell yourself and more. I can't really name everything, but there's more. Next slide, please. Yeah. So mentors, exactly. There isn't like a solid mentor. There's different things. So I, as I mentioned earlier, I talked to a lot of professionals in the field who are working and I got to know lots of people who are working in different corners of filmmaking. Like I met uh, filmmakers who work on, you know, sustainable living and the environment. So they make films and stories. They share stories about the environment and like eco-friendly stuff and it's the, I learned that and I talked to those people on the whole other end I also talked to people who make fictional storylines and like webtoons and you know short films and animated stories on YouTube just the complete opposite I also read lots of different books on filmmaking, one book I read uh, was Quentin Tarantino's book on filmmaking. I read lots of different articles about different professionals who work in filmmaking and fields related to filmmaking. Like I said, I make videos. I also talk to like domain experts, so like producers and uh, the financers and the production teams. I've talked to a few of those people. I talked to cinematographers, I talked to set designers and just like the whole package. Next slide. Yeah, so the support I got in Coversity was number one, all my cohort buddies, like it says on the screen. There were also guides to like help us along the way if we needed it. And there's also the whole Arohi community and they like share opportunities. And if you have doubts or if you want to know something, then you can ask them also, which I did. Next slide. Yeah. So after all of this, when I reviewed, I didn't really notice when I was, you know, doing everything. But after everything, I just noticed all of the possibilities that I have. Number one is entrepreneurship, which is like, you know, 
making my own studio and just making my own stuff. Another one is I could go and work for a director. I, I could work for a cinematographer. I could work for a screenwriter or I could like freelance. So I, my interest in filmmaking is vast. So I have lots of options in that. And there's also the option for me to just, you know, come up with my own thing, which is what I'm doing right now. Next slide. I have no idea what to say to this. Kirtika, you're on mute. Okay, so thank you for the presentation, uh, Lakshita. And uh, we can open the floor for any questions or any thoughts. Uh, so let's use this time with uh, Lakshita. Uh, you know, uh, let's uh, direct our thoughts and questions uh, based on what she's shared. And then we can also open up the floor for uh, questions that may not be really uh, you know, uh, related to what she's shared, but any of your thoughts, feedbacks, concerns. Yeah. Hey, hi. Hi, Kavi. Yes. Okay. I want to find out, uh, for example, that you have booth cam. I saw the date is actually in April, in June. Correct. Okay. So, uh, is there anything apart from the boot camp? Do you have anything in Arohi community where he can be there for some time to understand this, and then he can come here and uh, come back to Malaysia after that? Uh, you know, be part of your online uh, coversity is a coversity program. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how old is your uh, child, uh, Kavi? He's thirteen. 13. Okay, so uh, this, uh, this is specifically for 14 to 21. So what uh, your child could do is he can explore and, you know, try and understand where really his interest lies. Uh, and from 14 onwards is when, uh, you know, he can really uh, become part of the uh, coercity journey and he can deep dive in one particular interest of his see if that, you know, if uh, when he's trying to look at it as a profession, does it really interest and does he want to go deeper? Uh, you know, maybe he uh, ex uh, expands his understanding of what that industry is like. Uh, and then after six months, he can review and decide if he wants to be in the same domain or switch to another domain. So uh, that starts for 14. We start with 14 year olds. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And Kritika, can I just add here something? Uh, sure, sure. Just, uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, see, you are. Uh, I think you've been asking, like, you know, can I drop my child at ROE? So basically, ROE is like for the family. It is not for the child only. So we will first invite you as a family to understand, explore open learning and everything a bit more. And you are welcome to visit campus along with your uh, child and maybe the whole family. And from there on, Build some time, take some time, and then probably you can look at coercity and other options available. Uh, you know, uh, for you. Okay, how long? How long we can be there to understand ROK better? So yeah, for that, like you'll have to uh, you know visit the website, and you can you can come for a week's time, month's time, six months. It's up to you as a family how much long you want to stay there or okay. how long you and want to be there. Okay, just say because I have businesses here in Malaysia. Uh, to okay. further understand this, just say I'm coming there maybe perhaps about one week or two weeks. And after that, if I place my son there to understand things better, is it possible? Uh, Kavi, can you, can we, uh, can yeah. you call, call on the numbers available on the website? Probably there's a specific. Yeah. Can, 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 can do that. that. Yeah. I can answer that. 
Um, uh, yeah, Kavita, uh, Kavi. Uh, see, it is as I shared, as Pranav rightly shared that this is the community uh, where the, not you're not joining for the child, but it is the family who are joining. And yes, definitely you can come and experience campus. Um, and um, also it's just not draw, the child need uh, being in the campus. It is still as a community, even if you're not there, you are part of the community. And uh, you will be you will be guiding the child. You will also be um, understanding the child's yeah. needs and yeah. all those. I would yeah. just like to sorry. I would just like to interrupt here. Uh, yeah. Let's keep the focus of this discussion to what Lakshita has shared and to Coversity. Uh, yeah. Kavi, we keep meeting up every Saturday, and uh, you know you can look at the previous recordings also. So we've got Lakshita's time very with a lot of difficulty because she's quite a busy person. So, okay, thank so you. let's, uh, you know, make the most of this time. And uh, uh, if you have thoughts on how your child can make a career out of their in, uh, on things related to poverty, you can pose your questions to Lakshita. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Kritika. Can I ask something? Yes, Neha, please. My, actually, my question is the same. Uh, actually, the kids who are in Arohi are normally goes to school or not? Lakshita, you want to take up that? Yeah, okay. So, in Arohi... You know, there is the option to go to school. There always is. It's not like we're saying don't go. But a lot of us don't. We do open learning. We plan our day. And with the community, we do what we're interested in and what we want to explore. Most of us do that. But, you know, after some time, maybe if your child has the urge to go back to school and, you know, experience the school life, then that's also fine because that's also kind of what open learning is about your choice to choose and then how we can recognize the level of our kids like second class third grade fourth grade fifth grade yeah, then. i mean why is that necessary because in each grade i've gone to school for over 10 years and i stopped after that so in each grade, you just dive a little bit deeper into each topic. But okay. when you're open learning, you you have the whole freedom to really go into a topic you're interested in, fully understand it, and you can stop when you feel like it. So you evaluate yourself. So if you and your child thinks that, you know, in this topic, we have explored enough, we have learned enough, then you stop. It's not a set standard. So each person can decide how much they want to learn, what they want to learn and when they want to learn. Thank you, Lakshita. And Kritika, yeah. one question. Actually, my yeah. son has just completed 10th grade. Okay. Just he has given uh, exam last week. So uh, actually he's confused about next further his study. Okay. Can I drop him in our OH? Uh, okay, you said he's confused. Is that what you said? Sorry if I heard it right. Same, like, like mostly in Punjab, like I'm from Amritsar. So in Amritsar, the mostly kids have planned to go abroad or anything to choose family business or another option like commerce, non-medical and arts, humanity. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, uh, whatever be the case, uh, Neha, uh, the point is Arohi is a community of families doing open learning. So as a family, you come first, understand what Arohi is, you know, go through the website, talk to a few people, and then as a family, you decide, okay, whether you want to take this path or not. And in terms of if I have to, you know, go further and talk about coercity, uh, again, the same thing, whatever, he, they may have multiple interests or they may be confused about their interests or not sure, all this is natural. So somewhere at Coversity, you take up one interest and you start with that and you know, you, you see whether can you live it as a profession for the next six months and then decide whether you want to uh, proceed or not. 
and uh, one more clarification that i wanted to share is the minimum commitment that's required for coercity is one year so you commit for a year and after that you can uh, you know uh, keep continuing for as long as you want you know till you've taken the professional leap now you think okay now i you know i know the industry i can go about and you know make a job or an i can become i can start a startup i can become i can do freelancing so once you are uh, you know in a place that you feel okay i no longer need to be with a cohort i can do this journey by myself that is when you uh, you know you kind of uh, go on your own but the minimum requirement is one year and at that time since it's such a deep intense uh, you know uh, exploration of your domain you can't do school or college along with coercity so you either become part of coercity or you you know you choose where you want to be so just okay. wanted to put in there we are punjab so we knows in the bangalore am i right so what about accommodation food is it boarding it is your voice is uh... um yeah. okay i'll just stop my video uh, is this better now yes yeah uh, so uh, uh, neha uh, uh, this i as i said this is it starts with a one year thing and some part of it would be at the campus which is near uh, bangalore and some part of it would require the uh, uh, the youth to kind of go and uh, maybe take up internships or you know be with a mentor or uh, you know do some project so it really depends on okay. myself if i for a week or for some days so what uh, about accommodation or any other living uh, formalities like i'm from punjab yeah. so I don't all, know all any- this is there on the website neha just go have a look all this is shared so everything is shared in depth so i would suggest you have a look at that and that should help you or there are numbers that you can call and uh, check with thank okay. you oh yeah thank you yeah any youth uh, in this uh, meet up like 14 to 21 if there are then you know they can maybe take up a separate breakout room and talk about uh, what's happening in their life uh, otherwise we continue as is so if you are between 14 to 21 please let us know and you know we'll have a separate breakout room for you yeah and also i have posted few links of our website and our whatsapp group you can check that out and kind of get more details on this and also we have uh, meetups like uh, the zoom beat meetups every week It's on saturday at 7 pm and on sunday sorry saturday at 6 pm so this is the same link but i have provided again and you can get more information about boot camps in the website and also join the whatsapp groups to get constant updates about the coversity uh any questions or any thoughts around coversity or how what really are uh, they doing in terms of their portfolio or how are they uh, you know going deeper like in their respective domain okay kaila is 14 kaila you are part of the arohi community i believe right yep yeah ah yeah okay kaila yeah so uh, we are also so basically uh, shrijani kailai and lakshita are part of the arohi community i am looking for uh, 14 to 21 who are not part of the community and would like to know how uh, uh, these youngsters are uh, you know directing their uh, journeys hi i'm ani here i'm from cochin in kerala okay and i'm speaking for my 17 year old boy uh-huh uh this my question is to lakshita lakshita as part of your journey you said you also had connects with the industry or uh, you know people who guided you to your uh, interest can you share how you connected with the industry yeah <laughs> 
So nobody exactly guided me. Um, I did most of it by myself. The events that I go to are usually posted in like book my show websites like that, or some of them are in ROE or somebody shares it. So that's how I connect with like events. But like the people themselves, it's not really limited to the Indian film industry. I've talked to a lot of people on online platforms, LinkedIn and, you know, Instagram, Twitter. So a lot of, you know, smaller creators are on there and they're like ready to share. So if you just go and ask them, then they usually give you the information and many of them are ready to have like talks with you or you know, keep in touch with you or have discussions with you. They also have their own communities, a lot of them. And you just join in. There's no really set way. This is just how I do it. Another way is like getting introductions. So I know a few people who are connected to people who work in the industry. So I get them to give an intro for me and then we just sort of take take the conversation from that yeah so there's lots of different ways mainly i use social media and i talk to people at events okay. thanks lakshita yeah no problem yes yeah. Srijani has just put up all the relevant links. Uh, we also have a, a WhatsApp group, which has uh, youth as well as their parents. And we keep taking up uh, relevant themes and you know discuss around it. And uh, if uh, this thing really interests you, Thursdays, we take up a particular theme and uh, kind of uh, explore it uh, in terms of what happens at Coversity. For, to just give you an example, the, the last Thursday, the, uh, this Thursday, we had a meetup on uh, what is co-creating? Like, how do you come together in a cohort and how do you co-create your journey? So uh, Thursdays are an in-depth uh, uh, discussion sessions, uh, primarily for Coversity. So if you want to know more about Coversity, go check out our website or join us on these Thursday meetups, which are, you know, uh, which, where we discuss uh, in detail. And Saturdays, we kind of have uh, people like Lakshita who've been part of the journey and they share their, uh, you know, experience. Uh, I have one quick question, <clears throat> generic question. Okay. Yeah, so basically, uh, uh, my niece, my daughter, so they are uh, between the ages like uh, 15, uh, 15, 16, 17. So I have a group of like uh, three, four kids that are close friends. So they were looking at uh, your website uh, to understand uh, what are the programs they can participate. So they were not very clear about uh, like you have first time they're coming. So they were not sure how it would be. So they were looking at two options of staying there for one week, uh, which is a um, experience out of he and then versus COVID city. So both are happening in the same week, like week of uh, April 17th, right? So they wanted to know what is the difference between like whether they come for the just experiencing Arohi versus COVID city. Is it uh, really uh, relevant for them if they come for COVID city kind of a workshop now? Uh, so, uh, uh, Madhu, I would suggest they have a look at the Coversity website, which is shared here, if they've not done so far, uh, and let them uh, join one of the meetups on Thursdays. So there we uh, have a lot of youth also joining in. And uh, they'll get an idea uh, in terms of uh, what really happens at Coversity. And it is specifically for the age group they are in. So, uh, you know, if they want to kind of see how their interest can be translated or, you know, uh, become a professional in that in their respective domains. Uh, Coversity could be an option. And uh, that is where the boot camp helps you, right? Because uh, like all everything that we talk about is great, but 
like how do i really understand what it is so why not you know that's why we have the options of boot camp to kind of give the uh, youth uh, a base a, a, a glimpse into what this journey would be like and uh, we recently had one in march and the next one is in april as uh, shrijani has shared so i would suggest let them have a look at the website and uh, let them come for the thursday meetups you could also come for the thursday meetups where uh, you know you try and uh, you can get a better understanding of what really uh, this uh, this thing is coversity yes and adding on firstly it's not at all a workshop it's nothing like a workshop like someone will be teaching you or something it's more like we co create our week in in the coversity way i would say and also uh, like arohi is and where you experience ka arohi is like you experience the whole arohi community and the coversity the boot camp is only kind of targeted or only for the youth who is wanting to change their passion to profession or their interest to profession okay so there is no age limit for the arohi experience right yes yes like from all ages are welcome for arohi community like it's families join together arohi is like different families coming together and forming a community sure okay yeah thank you to add to that uh, is experiencing arohi uh, is uh, to experience open learning at campus so how it uh, how the open learning happens uh, at campus and how children are learning uh, and exploring open learning so all these can be an experience for you when you are staying at arohi okay any thoughts uh, i think we've been very lenient on lakshita usually like there are a lot of grilling questions for the youth uh, uh, so if you have any thoughts doubts and all just uh, shoot it off yeah i have one question uh, for lakshita so so currently my daughter uh, she uh, she is uh, going into 12th so she is pursuing design so uh, she started preparing for design entrance exams and all so uh, i know she is very much interested in getting into design and also just wanted to understand so how that uh, current passion she has uh, uh, will be uh, taken taken forward like if she comes and participate in coversity so uh what uh, help she will get or like how she can get better at what she wants to pursue uh, i couldn't hear some bit can yeah yeah sure yeah shall i re- uh, i'll repeat yeah so my daughter uh, she is in 12th she went uh, just went to 12th and uh, she is actually preparing for design exam so she is um, more interested in design like for uh, anything uh, like product uh, uh, design or something like that so she started pursuing that and also that is more of a creative skill right so there is no set syllabus or anything like that she keeps trying different things uh, uh, designing or trying out uh, different workshops all that so just wanted to understand so if she participate uh, in coversity um uh, uh boot camp so how does uh, she can uh, like participate and how, how does she get benefited with that so like i can't say too much about boot camp but like i can tell you about the course itself is that fine sure like yeah so like i mentioned a lot of it is self driven so nobody forces you to do things and there's also cohort buddies and like other people who are in the cohorts who are there to help like you said it's a creative field and there's not an exact syllabus but depending on what your daughter is exactly interested in so krishiv 
my friend he is interested in character design so that leans more toward film and games video games and you know graphic novels and that sort of stuff rather than like proper designing like architecture or product designing it really depends on the field that your daughter is exactly interested in in design she can you know proceed with workshops she can do that or she could collaborate with somebody in the coversity or she could like focus on different areas and research each part like i did with filmmaking so i researched like set design and how people build sets and what goes into building sets and if you can do that at home and what not then i researched cinematography what exactly do you need can you do cinematography at like a professional level at a hollywood level without all of the proper equipment then i looked at the post production the editing the cgi and what not so she could do that or she could like you know do lots of different projects and do trial and error there's also a period for internships as kirtika mentioned or mentorship whichever and in that period she can really like choose who she wants to like learn from or what exactly she wants to explore so which job or like which position so she could go and intern for a freelancer she could you know go help them out with all of their emails and what not or she could go to like a designing firm and there she could do whatever they say or she could be an assistant designer there there's like lots of options she could also go and get a mentor who is a designer and just learn from them in that whole period based on what they want to teach and what she wants to learn from them that's the main thing other than that there's also like lots of reviewing and making road maps and vision boards and stuff like that so what do you want to do and you know how do you plan to get it what is needed if you really want to do this then how do you plan to approach it what are all the things that you need to have prepared what are the things that you need to like know and what might be needed you know she gets to learn all of that with other people who have different perspectives so i think that's the most helpful bit there's lots of people who can help you out and give you different perspectives rather than you just going at it alone and not knowing if what you're doing is right or necessary maybe you you might be doing something that isn't even needed yeah adding on to lakshita the we throughout this journey what you have shared we also have guides mentors who will kind of keep checking on us or kind of come and play whenever we need yeah got it uh thank you lakshya yeah just to add to the uh, the question on boot camp so uh, boot camp madhu really is uh, so what your daughter uh, or your child is doing is uh, you know pretty much what uh, you know happens at coversity as well like you try and explore different uh, areas in your domain but somewhere uh, they have the support system of a cohort they have guides and uh, you know somewhere all their learning is directed towards uh doing stuff that is industry relevant uh so that's where uh, you know it kind of uh, it's at that level and if that kind of a journey is what interests uh, or you your child or you find interesting or exciting uh to understand that better as an experience is where boot camp comes into play so somewhere if you think oh coversity is something i want to you know kind of understand better or you know explore as an option the boot camp is like a trailer to that overall journey okay got it yeah that's how, that's what i was also thinking because uh, if she gets that experience then she has uh, she can take her own decision what she wants to do because currently she is more focused on like uh, she has uh, another 8 9 months to give design entrance exams and all so she is focusing on that there also i think as it is there's no syllabus is more of a creative skill she has to try out different things so i also thought this might help because she'll get connect to the people having similar interest 
they have a more uh, right platform to explore more things and themselves right so right yeah. right right yeah similar and varied interests and because like all of them are uh, somewhere on that similar on the same journey right like somewhere right, their right. destination is to become a professional so the whole uh, ecosystem of having that support you know emotional or you know in terms of your domain all that comes into play yeah that is right i think a uh, second thing i i believe arohi i think uh, what i know um, i think my daughter was there uh, when she was very small she still remembers the trip so it's more focused on sustainability uh, aspect mm-hmm. as well so that's where i was more uh, interested because design can be anything right it can be professional is money making all that but uh, yeah. uh, at the end of the day if they want to focus more on the sustainable aspect of it that will be a good thing for future generation and themselves right going forward so that's what i was uh, focusing on more yeah yeah just picking up from what you just said you know so while you know we are talking about our uh, professional interests and you know what is our uh, domain that we want to become a professional in somewhere the whole journey is kind of uh, you know there is a lot of ev- uh, evolving uh, evolution from within as well right as a self also as an individual also you're growing in terms of how you interact with people and uh, what are uh, you know you kind of decide what your professional value system would be like as you rightly said you know someone wants to focus more on sustainability as lakshita was saying uh, one part of it she wants to look at uh, you know filmmakers who are making on climate change and somewhere she's also looking at you know what's happening in the fictional uh, space so you are exploring all these uh, aspects of your uh, professional domain so just wanted to bring that uh, thing in true yeah yeah okay uh, if we don't have any further questions uh, maybe we can just dive into a, a, a poll and uh, we can conclude the session Uh, Leela, can you just uh, launch that poll? Can you see? Kitika, you can see, right? Uh, I can't see anything. Others, can you see a poll? I can see. Yeah. Ah, okay so i yeah. i think i'm a co-host so i can't I think we all can answer this poll. Is there an option giving there to click on the options, um, Priti? Yes, Leela. Okay, okay. Hi. yeah just as uh, everyone is answering the poll shrijani you just uh, do you want to just share about uh, uh, the uh, where we have designers sharing their journeys and the youtube archives you want to share about that yeah uh, so we also have few um, we also have few other people like lakshita who have been into this journey Uh, of coversity before uh, as someone was mentioning there was there are few designers also who were in, sorry few 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 youngsters who were interested in 
designing too you can check those discussions we had with them too yeah we have a whole set of uh, you know people interested in writing filmmaking as lakshita is today a uh, part of the session and some designers uh, we also have people who've been uh, you know taken the entrepreneurial journey and people who are into sports so please go uh, you know check these uh, uh, youtube playlists that we have on um, arohi cover city youtube channel and you can you know refer you can understand from what their journey has been like okay i uh, i think if everyone has uh, responded to the poll and we don't have any further thoughts uh, shall we conclude the session i have one last thought yes preeti yeah so it is related to the boot camp thing so um, boot camp as uh, there is a trailer of a movie same way boot camp is a trailer of a commit trailer of a coercity uh, thing wherein uh, coercity when you commit for it you commit for a year for it right whereas boot camp is a 6 day 5 6 day program wherein uh, you just come in and explore and see how it is suiting you as a family and how the whole thing is working and is it workable for me for future in future or not whether i should commit for a one year time to it or not all that can be little bit uh, grasped in that 5 6 days of time so uh, personally i feel that boot camp is a great way if somebody is really uh, looking forward or looking uh, to uh, you know register for coversity for a one year thing before that uh going for a boot camp is a good idea that's a just a thought that i had yeah preeti so i'm just posting the links again uh, in case any of you have missed it and um, okay any final thoughts lakshita shrijani if you feel uh, anything needs to be added else we can conclude yeah i felt one one important point in cover city is that that we have this flexibility of changing our interest if we don't feel like this is my passion or this is my main interest uh, like generally we go in a cycles of 6 months so for a few weeks we be on campus doing planning and um, do we do plan and kind of start our action together in the campus and then we go off campus where we do a little industry work we maybe get into an internship maybe take up few projects or something we get in touch with the industry and work in it and after few after few weeks we again come back to campus for few weeks and start kind of reviewing what we have learned and also kind of this decide if we still want to continue in the same domain or you want to change it if you don't like feel like this is my main domain or you are like had enough of it or something so after this six month cycle or if you feel like this is my passion and i want to go deep into as lakshita is doing now you can go on for another six month cycle or and and years on until you feel um, you are kind of getting into the profession leap yeah yeah that's a very important point trijani thank you for sharing uh, somewhere it helps you decide uh, and make an informed choice after having done a six months of deep dive where you are you know kind of connected with the industry done a lot of work by yourself and uh, you know been with other uh, people who might be interested in the same domain so uh, it helps you make an informed choice okay whether i want to continue with this domain or you know no 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 really let me try something else so that's where the flexibility aspect really uh, helps the youth uh, discover their passion and you know decide where they want to uh, where they're itching to do more and you know become uh, like keep going 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 and deep diving as much as possible and become a professional uh, eventually so and i said that six Six months, we feel very confident that we can kind of uh, get into any domain of our choice and rock in that. Yep, absolutely. Okay, any last questions? Okay, so we can pause this discussion for now, and uh, 
if uh, uh, you know any of you are interested more do join us on the thursday meetups where we uh, kind of go deeper and understand coversity and how each element plays out uh, in the journey thank you bye bye thank you lakshita thank you. bye 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 stop the recording um kitita yeah bye bye thank you